Have you had the fun experience of working with Windows 8 yet? Oh, yes. It's yeah? on my work computer. It's on your work computer. Mm-hmm. And how do you love that? I'm like weird. I'm like scroll. I want to make it scroll. Yeah, you want to like drag yeah. it. But then you end up grabbing one of the tiles and flicking it <laughs> off the screen. And it's like, where did the tile go now? It kind of feels like things are developed for a touch screen. In fact, I had a customer come in and their computer had crashed. So they needed us to transfer the data onto their new computer. They'd bought a new computer in town, and it had Windows 8 on it. And they said, I can't figure out how to use this stupid thing. <laughs> Nothing is where it used to be. Oh, I can't oh, find anything. I, I can't figure out how to use my computer. Why are all of these icons up on the screen? So what do we do? We revert to our desktop. Oh, I know. That's fantastic. I know oh, it feels more like Windows, doesn't it? Okay, so let's bring up our start menu. Oh, Ah, see? It's, what? Oh, my God. But I click on the start menu, and it it takes me to this thing? Ah, so then I go, oh, well, okay, well, if I want a Bundt cake, <laughs> apparently I'm oh, good. ready for good, it. Oh, good, good, good. Okay, uh, okay, I don't want Bundt cake. I'm not into football. Um, what? This is the problem. I'm being, I'm over-exaggerating a little bit, but I this know. is how yeah, the user yes. sees Windows 8. Mm-hmm. Sure. I mean, you might be a power user a little bit, and you, you love to tinker, and you love to figure your way around and try all the new things. But the user who, you know, there is a huge amount, uh, uh, you know, the user base of Windows who just expect when I click on the E, don't even know what it's called, <laughs> just when I click on the E, it's going to give me the internet. The internet. When I click on the envelope, <laughs> it's going to give me my email, right? Yeah. Oh, if yeah. I if I ever lose my bookmarks, I don't know how to get around the internet. If I ever lose Google or Bing, I don't know how to get around the internet. <laughs> Th- and that might be you if you're watching this after the fact, or That's my you know mom. maybe. Then there you go. <laughs> There's a huge user base that's like that. So mm-hmm. throw this at you and say, okay, now go. Okay, where do I go? What do I do? You touch Why do I have hands. the London forecast when I'm in Barrie, Ontario? Oh, I've got S- Sydney. That's good for some some of you watching. Looks like it's nice there. <laughs> Paris. Okay, so what? Now I'm traveling? Okay, so this is useless to me. So I go back to my desktop and I want my start menu, but it's nowhere to be found. And I click it and it just takes me back and forth and back and forth. And it's a nightmare. I've only got Internet Explorer, so what do I do? I click on it. And from Internet Explorer, I'm going to head over to this great website that's going to help me with this awful interface. It's called classicshell.net okay we've got that up now we're going to talk okay what we don't like about windows 8 and i'm saying we i'm talking about the client who comes in with a computer and says where is my start menu yes what we don't like about it is that we are using a laptop computer with a keyboard and a touchpad and maybe an external mouse i'm using a desktop computer with a mouse and a keyboard and a big screen Mm -hmm. i'm not using a touch screen I'm not doing this on my screen. I'm not moving things around like this. I'm using a mouse. So it needs to be an interface that's built for the mouse. The whole start menu thing is a big problem for a lot of people. And when 8.1 came out and brought in the menu that I showed you there and just takes you back to the start screen, people, well, is that a joke? I know. Is Microsoft laughing at us? What are your thoughts about Windows 8 thus far? I'm using Windows 8.1. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Are you kind of on the fence, not really sure? Or maybe you're just strictly Linux, and so you don't really care. But the fact is, you know, and people say, well, why are you looking at Windows 8 when this is predominantly a Linux show? Well, we do have Windows users that watch the show. Some mm-hmm. of you have it at work. I know. What do you I do? Know. It is what it is, bro. So Classic Shell is a free piece of software that, as they say, it improves your productivity, it enhances the usability of Windows 8, and empowers you to use the computer the way you like it. <laughs> All right. Which is a good statement. Yeah. It's maybe not for everyone, but Classic Shell empowers you to use Windows the way that you like mm. it. So let's say Windows 7, Windows XP, that kind of an interface. Okay, so back at my desktop. Yes. Okay. Here we are. <laughs> Okay, all I need to do is click on Download Now. Uh (laughs) Download Now. There it is. Okay, do you want to run? Yes. Run. Running security scan. 
preparing to install, and next. I accept this lovely agreement to make my computer old school. Okay, here's the first thing that you're kind of asked here. What do you want to include with Classic Shell? Classic Explorer. Okay, Classic Explorer adds the standard toolbar to Explorer. It features things like cut, copy, paste, delete, properties, email. Of course, I want that. It can show the free disk space and the total file size in your status bar. Why don't we already have that in Windows 8? I don't know. It can also disable the breadcrumbs in the address bar. So we want that. Okay, do we want the classic start menu? Yeah, that's going to give us the Windows 8 or Windows 7 style uh, start menu. And classic IE actually, <coughs> pardon me, it adds uh, a caption to the top of your Internet Explorer window mm -hmm. so that you can actually see the title of the website that you're on. We've lost that feature, so this re-adds that. It also shows the security zone in the status bar, and uh, it also shows the loading progress in the status bar. Things that you expect from your browser, those are included with Classic IE. So generally, we're going to want to allow it to install everything. The last option is Classic Shell Update. Do you want it to look for updates to itself in case they bring out some new things? Hmm. Absolutely. Next, and install. Doesn't take long. Is this okay? Yeah. Of course it is. Yeah, I'm going to say yeah. Okay, we can turn off view readme file unless you want to read it. We're not going to right now. And I would encourage you, if you support this project and you find that you like it, do click the Donate to Classic Shell button because this is a donation-supported free software. Nice. Finish. Okay, so what do I do now? Let's close out of Internet Explorer. Here I am. I'm going to click on this Start button down at the bottom left. Mm -hmm. Whoa. That's, That's new. Familiar. That didn't come up with the crazy desktop thing. But it's asking me something here. What do I want? A classic style start menu. That looks like Windows XP style. Do you want a, a two column, which looks a little more like Windows 7, and then the actual Windows 7 style hmm. right there. So I'm going to go with the defaults here. Let's look at the basic settings. Left click. On the start menu, or on the start button, brings up classic start menu. Shift and click opens the Windows start screen. That's the thing that we're trying to get away from. Uh, Windows key opens the start menu, and shift windows opens the Windows start screen. You can go through all of these settings. You're probably going to just want all of these to stay uh, mm -hmm. as they are. Nice thing is that it also contains a shutdown command, so you don't have to try to find shut down by yes. pointing to the lower right of your screen. Oh, there it is under oh settings. Right, of course, because I'm going to configure my shutdown. No, oh, I actually have to go through this and then find it. Oh, my goodness. That's actually helpful because I actually don't know how to shut my work one down. <laughs> now you know. You kind of jiggle your mouse over the right-hand cor bottom corner, and then when it comes up, you push settings. I had no idea. Like as if you're going to configure something. Boy, no, that's daft. That's, that's daft for sure. Okay, but what's going to happen here is that it's going to give us the proper mm -hmm. shutdown option. Mm -hmm. Okay, scrolling down through the settings real quick. Look at this. Start automatically for this user, and perhaps the most brilliant thing right at the bottom, skip Metro screen. What that means is that it's going to absolutely avoid ever loading that start screen with all oh. those tiles. Okay, mm -hmm. so I'm going to hit OK. And could it really be that simple? Let's see. Are you ready, Hill? I don't know if I can handle this. Can you handle this? This is going to make me rethink everything. Let's click the Start button. <gasps> oh, my Lanta. Look at that. We're still in Windows 8. Something but this I is... I can understand. Yes. Looks just like Windows 7. Look at our control panel. Nice and clean. Much, much more familiar. Double-click on control panel to bring it up. And you'll see that, of course, Explorer is, you know, we've got a file menu and all this kind of stuff that you would expect. Operates a little bit more normally. Okay. Let's bring up Internet Explorer. And you'll see the classic Explorer bar is ready for use. Enable. There we go. Okay, so now it's enabled. We can now, you ready for this, right-click on your basically the blue area up here, the teal area. And we can turn on all of these things now. Status mm -hmm. bar. Now we have a status bar at the bottom. See down there? When I point to links, I can see them. 
right click again and add a favorites bar brilliant now i can Im add my favorites there you go mm -hmm. uh i can add a menu bar that's your file tools all that kind of stuff don't know why i added two google things there i guess because i added this as a favorite that's what i did mm. all right <laughs> Uh, and that's really, you know, that's what we need to know about the Explorer extension, classic IE. But there you go. So now if you want to add favorites and stuff, they're going to be easily accessible on this toolbar. So you can get there nice and easy. But it's really nice to have the status bar at the bottom as well. And it starts to feel more like the browser that you're used to. Yes. Rather than this thing that's built for a full screen tablet. Okay. So now if when I click on this, Every time that I click on it, okay, well, now what if I, what if I really, for some reason, want to get back to the start screen? Mm -hmm. Well, we saw in the settings that if we hold in the shift key on our keyboard mm -hmm. and click on the start button, it oh, will, in fact, take me back okay. to that screen. Then if I hit the start button on my keyboard, now it brings me back to this. But I never, in fact, see this screen unless I specifically demand it by pressing the shift key. Because when I first turn on my computer now, Windows 8, mm -hmm. it's going to go directly to my desktop with my start menu, with my actual shutdown options, just like you would expect from, say, Windows 7. So now we're able to get the benefits of, say, you know, of Windows 8, the speed improvements and generally all around mm -hmm. kind of faster, uh, more streamlined operating system, but with the familiarity of Windows 7. So, hmm. you know, Microsoft hasn't really locked us down as much as no. they've tried this particular <laughs> program has given it to us so this is called classic shell and you can get it for absolutely free uh, and you can get your windows 8 to look and feel like windows 7 it's classic shell.net check that out today and uh, it will also run on windows 7 if you want to be able to take advantage of some of the exciting features should note as well the classic shell is skinnable so you can actually change oh. we're not limited to just windows xp style and windows right. 7 style you can actually download other skins for your start menu in fact you can create your own skins and there's a helpful skinning tutorial i'll include the link for you in the show notes of episode cool. number 321 classic shell.net yeah write that down do that at work get that don't at tell Hillary's the boss. work <laughs> do tell the boss because the boss is going to want it yeah probably yeah it's tricky, so I'm sure everyone would want it. Category 5 TV is a production of Prodigy Digital Solutions and is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution 2.5 Canada. Thanks for watching.